Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a 3D movie using a couple of GoPros that are mounted next to each other. Now I have made sure that they are parallel to one another. I'm also made sure that they are filming at the same frame rate and resolution. That is critical. The other thing is I'm going to be shooting this on a little bit on the wider side and that tends to be better for the audience. Rotate this around so you can see that. Now when you have mounted these, you do need to make sure that they are exactly parallel and they're, they're not angled one way or the other so that you're going to get the best picture and it makes post-production the easiest. The other thing is once I hit record, I need to make sure that by pressing record on that, that they don't uh, shift the camera by pressing the button. So I'm going to go ahead and hit record on these. Now when I do that, I didn't start them at the same time, that's okay because I'm going to be editing this and I will synchronize them in post-production. One thing that's really going to help for that though is to get an accurate synchronization. So to do that I have a clapboard or I can just clap my hands. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a 3D movie using a couple of GoPros mounted side by side. It's wonderful that God has placed us in this three-dimensional world and also has given us the ability to navigate that 3D world with stereo vision. So let's go ahead and make a movie about it. Now I'm going to cut these. And now that they are cut, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these and I'm going to take the card out of each of them put them in the computer and make sure that I know that this was the left camera and this is the right camera and I'll label those videos and we will take these things into Adobe Premiere and then into Adobe After Effects to finish up. All right, first thing I'm going to do is prepare my files. And I've got this folder here for 3D Movie and I'm going to be placing my files in here. This is the SD card, the micro SD card from the GoPro and this was my left one. So I'm going to take my left one and I'm going to drag it over here and after it is transferred I'm going to go ahead and right away just rename it that this is my left video. That'll make things a little bit easier later. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with the right. All right, I've placed my right SD card or micro SD card in the computer and I'm going to go ahead and get that right one and just drag that over here and you'll notice that they are approximately the same size. One might be a little bit longer than the other but that's because one was started slightly before the other so I'm going to rename this right and then we are good to go. I'm going to eject that and show you how to start your project. Next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and open up Adobe Premiere. And then I'm going to start a new project here and it's asking me what do I want to call this. I'll call it 3D and where I want to put it. So I'll choose that location. That is a pretty critical thing. So choosing my location and I'm going to put it in this 3D movie and click choose. I'll ignore all of this stuff in the middle and all of that and I'm going to click create. Next thing I'm going to do is set my workspace to editing. And then I want to import my footage. I have three ways that I can do that. I can double click this gray area here. I can go to file and I can choose import or I can do a command I as you see that. I'm just going to double click here and then I'm going to bring in my left and right video and I'm going to click import. So I'm going to take the left in and bring that in over here and then I'm going to take my right and bring that in over here. And you can see that I have two video clips and then I'm going to need to do some synchronization of that. So once they're in I have my left on the bottom, right on the top and I could try and manually synchronize these but we're going to skip that and we are going to have Premiere do the synchronization. In order to do that I'm going to just click and drag. Now I have them both created but you do notice that this is called left so that not confused later this is my sequence because I dragged the left in first. It's called the sequence this and I'm just going to click this and I'll call this 3D movie. 
it's a good idea to always rename your sequence whatever you need to name it so that you're not confused with the clips that are also called those same things. Now that I have, again, I'm going to select both of these and I'm going to right click and I'm going to look through this and look for synchronize. And I want these to synchronize with audio. I can use channel one or channel two. It really doesn't matter for this. I'm going to click OK, give it a moment, and they synchronized. Then I'm just going to go through and trim these up a little bit. And actually, I can get rid of some of that audio. But I'm going to put that down. And I'm going to trim this short, like this, and like this. And then I'm going to just trim that right here. So now I have my two videos. They are synchronized, and I'm going to select this dead space here, hit delete, and that moves it over. Now I don't need both of these audios, so it doesn't matter which one. They're recording at the same level. But what I'm going to do to make this a little bit easier, I'm going to hold Option on my keyboard or Alt. So I'm on a Mac right now, so I'm clicking Option. If I were on a Windows, I'd click Alt. I select that, and now that is selecting that audio from this one here for that right one, and I'm just going to get rid of it. So I'm going to hold, I'm going to click and hold Alt or Option. Now I have that audio selected. I'm going to delete it. So now I only have one audio okay, track. And if I wanted to see the difference between the two cameras, just to kind of eye that up, you'll notice that I can hide one and then open the other. These look like they were mounted pretty well. I think this is going to work quite well. So next thing I want to do is I'm going to do a Command S or Control S if I'm on Windows. And I'm going to move on into Adobe After Effects. So I'm going to select these. I'm going to right click and choose Replace with After Effects Composition. And I'm going to give it a moment and it'll open up Adobe After Effects. Next, when Adobe After Effects opens, it asks me, well, what do I want to call this and where do I want to put it? I'm going to call this 3D Movie. And it doesn't matter that I'm calling it the same thing as the other file because this is an After Effects project and not a Premiere project. But I don't want to save it in Adobe Cache. I'm going to go to where I have this saved. And then you'll notice that it brought it in and I have this sequence in Adobe After Effects on my left and my right. So next thing I'm going to do is select these two clips. So to do that I just hold shift and click on each one of them. So they are both selected and I'm going to go to layer and I'm going to tell it to in that layer I'm going to go to camera and I want it to create a stereo 3D rig. And it may or may not ask me uh, or tell me about the 3D layers. So it looks like this is 3D. It has this red cyan separation, but it is not the final film. Even if you were to put on 3D glasses, this would not look 3D because it is, this is a composition and then we have different eyes. But what I actually need to do is make sure that I'm putting in the footage from the right place. So it says here, Manipulate this channel for transformations and then left channel is for preview and right channel is for preview and then I have my earlier one. So this is the link composition. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this right clip here and I'm going to select it and I'm going to do a command C or control C. Then I'm going to go to the 3D linked comp right eye and I'm going to do a command V. Now it pasted it in and it pasted it in on top. I'm going to drag that underneath the right cam. And now this is seeing my right camera. Then I'm going to do the same over here. I'm going to go to this link comp and I'm going to select the left one. And you can see this is green, so this is a, the video clip. And what I'm going to do is Command C. And now I'm going to go over to my 3D linked comp left eye. And I'm going to do a Command V. And I'm going to drag it underneath the left cam. Okay? So now. When I come to this 3D Link Comp 1 Stereo 3D, this is the Stereo 3D view of my image. And it's using these 
different sources. It's using, if I drag this open, you can see that left view, it is using this left eye, right view is using this right eye. Then what I can do is pop on some 3D glasses and take a look at this. Now, right away, and I'm putting my 3D glasses on, I notice that the separation looks a little bit too big, and also that it is kind of difficult in the color. So instead of this balanced colored red-blue, I think you're gonna find better results balanced red-blue left-right. Then it kind of looks like this kind of magenta-ish image but what tends to happen, it tends to look better when you put on your 3D glasses. It does look a little bit more three-dimensional. It's easier on the eyes. Let me switch this back to this balanced color. For this, it's a, it can be challenging when you're viewing it because you have something like this, this yellow, and the yellow is also composed of red, and it can throw off the colors. So sometimes when doing 3D, I might actually make it into a black and white movie and then apply the effect the 3d effect but instead right now i'm going to switch to this balanced red blue left right and then looks like this i might have to do some post production on it a little bit to lighten things up but that is okay and then i can also adjust that balance here but it was set at eight and i think that works pretty well then what i want to do is adjust this scene convergence so i'm going to just kind of adjust this until what I want people to look at comes together. Now, as I brought that together, it, it's not fully, right now I'm viewing it at 40%. I'm actually gonna bring it into 100%. And then I'm going to adjust that convergence until it looks like it is really left and right kind of balanced, but then you notice that I have this vertical alignment that is off. So same thing, I'm gonna just adjust that until I can get it really close. And I, what I might need to do, because it kind of snaps, I might need to punch in some numbers. So I did negative one, that didn't work. Maybe I'm gonna put one and see, did that look? No, that looked bad too. So it's gonna be that in between. But you'll find that if you can get that good and lined up, so not perfect, I'm gonna do negative. 0.5, that is much closer. And I think that is gonna look pretty good. I put on my 3D glasses, which you can't see right now, but it looks three-dimensional. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna punch out to fit and take a look at that. And it has created a 3D sequence, a 3D video today of I'm that. Showing you how to make a mm -hmm. Today I'm gonna be showing Today I'm going to be and it's, as it plays, you can notice that it's got that green bar there and it slowed down a little bit because it might be struggling to, to play those videos at the same time. And I'm going to export this sequence. Once this is exported, then I can bring it into Premiere and do the final touches on it. So in order to export this, I can come up here and I'm going to choose export and I can add to render queue. And now it is adding this, and I'm going to use the best settings, high quality, and then I, it just asks me where do I wanna save this. So that is important, so I wanna put that here, and right now I'll call this Final 3D. And it is exporting it into that. I'm gonna click Save, and then I'm gonna go ahead and render it. Okay, now that is rendered, I am done in Adobe After Effects. I'm gonna go ahead and quit After Effects, and I will save those changes so that if I needed it later. Now when I come back over here, it says offline, doesn't matter. I'm actually just gonna select that and delete it. And I'm gonna come back over here and instead I am, I'm not even needing this anymore, that link comp, I'm gonna delete that. So I have my left and right. I could actually delete those if I wanted as well, but I'm gonna just double click here to import and I'm gonna get this final 3D, import that and then I'm gonna bring it in. And now I have my 3D movie and it has my audio and it is all synchronized. Uh, my audio is maybe a little bit loud right now. I'm just gonna do a quick audio gain and I'll punch in a negative six here and now I've got 
audio that's not peaking. And now, if this looks like it is too bright or too dark and I, I want to make further adjustments to it, I can, and I can do that a couple of ways. I could come in here and go to my video effects and I could do some adjustments, whether these adjustments or I could go under my color correction and do a Lumetri color or brightness and contrast. Um, maybe I want to take a Lumetri color, drop that on here, and then come up to my effects. And part of this is really going to be dependent upon your monitor, well, how bright it is and how calibrated it, it is. But I'm going to just do a little bit of basic correction here and maybe I'm going to bring that exposure up just a little bit. And I'm also I'm putting on my 3D glasses and kind of checking that. And that on my current monitor, this looks pretty good and I think that it will work. So I have now my 3D movie. If I wanted to do other things, maybe my transitions, I'm going to just right click that edge, apply default transition. I'm going to right click this edge and it, it is going to fade in. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a 3D movie using a couple of GoPros mounted side by side. So that's kind of the basics to creating a 3D movie in Adobe After Effects and Adobe Premiere using a couple of GoPros. I hope you enjoy the tutorial and that you too can continue to tell and live good stories. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a 3D movie using a couple of GoPros mounted side by side. It's wonderful that God has placed us in this three-dimensional world and also has given us the ability to navigate that 3D world with stereo vision. So let's go ahead and make a movie about it. 